I'm gonna share with you yet another way to get absolutely perfect HDR on Windows 11 and this time for games that don't even support this major pain the cactus add-on that we've been using Vulcan game, multiplayer games, everything, <laughs> okay? Because we're gonna force auto HDR from Windows 11 using a program so it just works, okay? No performance hit, nothing. And the only thing you have to do is, by the way, I'm, I'm using it right now in Horizon Zero Dawn, and this is the perfect example. This game has a completely broken native HDR. It's not even worth, you know, <laughs> I've been fighting, <laughs> trying to make it work for a year, over a year. It just doesn't work, okay? It's very, very bad. So. And Horizon Zero Dawn doesn't support the major pain the cactus add-on. And it doesn't have auto HDR from Windows 11 either. So we need to force it. And that's what I'm doing right now. So this is so easy. All you have to do is download this mod. Link in the description of the video. This is called LED OGE. Uh, that's the name of the user that created this mod. So you download this thing, you're going to get this file called release, and so you're going to run this program, auto HDR underscore force. When you open that program, you get this. Well, as the user that created the mod. Let me open it. So you double click that, and all you have to do is enter an EXE name or full path. So for example, let's use this game, okay? So merge hidden depth. So I click here, this is where the game executable is, okay? So I click here, I copy that, and I paste that here on the program. I'm gonna paste that here, and then I'm going to add another slash, and then I'm going to copy the name of the executable, okay? Copy that paste that dot e x e and then hit enter and then it tells you, you know, no existing key found whatever that doesn't matter it works so now enable auto hdr you click on uh, y okay you click on y enter enable 10 bits y enter done you open that game and it's gonna have auto HDR. Of course, you need to have auto HDR enabled on Windows 11. So tick that auto HDR box. And now here's the thing. You need to, and you know, even the HDR analysis tool is working, but it's not telling you exactly, you know, the maximum peak brightness. So basically what this is gonna use is the ICC profile that the HDR calibration app creates. So the only thing you need to do here is to identify if the game is originally sRGB on SDR or if it's Gamma 2.2. So if the game is originally sRGB, you would use the HDR calibration app profile. Okay, the profile that you create when you use this HDR calibration app. Okay, so that's for some games that use sRGB. Well, now for the majority of the games, you would use the ICC profile that I share with you. Link in the description of the video. You download this ICC profile, and that is for games that are originally Gamma 2.2 on SDR. Okay? Because if you use the HDR calibration app profile, for games that are originally Gamma 2.2, you're going to get near black a very washed out picture. It's gonna be too bright near black. The colors are gonna look washed out and it's gonna look terrible, okay? So for the majority of the games, you want to try this SDR, uh, you know, SDR to HDR ICC profile that fixes that. And then if you see that you're crushing blacks, then you default back to the HDR calibration app profile. Okay, so for example, this game, Horizon Zero Dawn, is sRGB. 
and you can clearly see it you just look at the darkness and if you use that ICC profile that I share with you it's gonna look too dark you're gonna be crushing details on the darkness and it's not gonna be good so here you just use the HDR calibration app profile and this works like a charm <laughs> okay and it's absolutely amazing so you might think man how are you you know just keep figuring these things out I don't okay the community tells me and I've been you know I have this video in the back burner for a long time I didn't have time to try it and today I was like okay let me finally try it yes it works and it works for Vulcan too and this is gonna work for example for multiplayer games where you don't want to use the major pain the cactus out on to reshape because you should you're not supposed to use that because you might get banned or something like that for multiplayer games so this works for everything okay so I think this is gonna work even for DirectX 9 games so now one thing you need to on the Nvidia control panel I'm not sure about AMD okay but on the Nvidia control panel you want to use you want to come here to manage 3D settings and you want to change this where it says Vulkan OpenGL present method. You want to change that from the default auto. You want to change that to prefer layered on DXGI swap chain. Again. You want to change this Vulkan to OpenGL present method. You want to change that to prefer layered on DXGI swap chain. And by doing this, you're going to get that auto HDR, that forced auto HDR working for Vulkan games. So for example, Red Dead Redemption 2, which is another absolute train wreck <laughs> when it comes to HDR. Uh, you want to use that and you want to use that in Vulkan because Vulkan has better performance maybe on your GPU. So then you absolutely want to use that to get the auto HDR work working on Vulkan. So you don't have to use DirectX 12. Okay. And it should work. I haven't tested that yet. Let me know if you give it a try. And let me know if you try this in a game and it doesn't work. Because this should be working for almost every game. Okay. And it's going to look as good as Auto HDR. That's what it is. It's Auto HDR from Windows 11, which I think it is very good. It is sCRGB, uh, but I think it is very good. It looks very, very nice. And <laughs> there you go. Another way to get HDR on your games. So some of you are asking me, hey, you should do like an ultimate HDR you know settings guide or something like that with a summary of all the tricks that would be a very long video bro a very long video imagine trying to put together everything in one video uh, that's not easy <laughs> and also we, we still have some stuff I need to cover with a uh, special K and other tricks so I will do that I will do a summary like one video with everything that's not gonna be easy Okay, that's not easy, but I understand. I'll try my best. Okay, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, I'm going to have in the description of the video, like the most you know recent relevant videos when it comes to HDR, SDR, HDR tricks and all of that. And basically right now we are at a point where we can get awesome HDR all the time for every single game. There is not a single game where I cannot get awesome HDR. There's always one trick that I can use. I mean, they all look amazing. I mean, they are all trying to accomplish the same thing, which is basically perfect blacks, perfect contrast, all the shadow detail, make the image pop with more brightness, with the brightness that you pay for, depending on your display, you can get that brightness. Uh, maybe the limitation of auto HDR is that it doesn't go beyond 1000. So if you have one of this latest, uh, you know, QD OLEDs, um, I mean, any QD OLED um, TV, the monitors, they are like less bright for some reason. 
uh, but the TVs you can you should be able to get more than 1000 nits but auto HDR is capping at 1000 and I don't know why I just don't understand why the max CLL is 1000 so how do you know the max CLL if this HDR analysis tool is not working right you just take a screenshot you know you just Windows Alt print screen you take a screenshot like you saw here and then you open that a screenshot with the HDR WCG image viewer app and you will realize that even if you set the HDR calibration app to go beyond 1000 you don't you don't get more than 1000 so that, that would be the limitation of this uh, auto HDR for now I hope that Microsoft improves that or whichever is working on that HDR calibration app or or Windows 11 auto HDR in general I hope that gets fixed someday because we we definitely need more than 1000 nits with the displays that we have today um, so yeah if if that's your case then the best you can do is the major pain the cactus mod where you can just basically choose how many nits you want no problem and of course you know native HDR just tweak the settings and yeah let's leave it there let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions